What's up, YouTubers? This is James with Zaza RC. So, I've had some people ask me, how do I balance my tires for high-speed runs? Well, I'm going to demonstrate. Here we have a brand new set of GRP S5 compound. These have never been run. Now, you're going to need your tires. You need a good tire balancer. I built my own just because that's what I like. Okay, a marker, cutters, uh, lead weight or, you know, any kind of weight that you have will work. Um, I like to use the scale so I'll know if I need, you know, how much I took off, how much I added whenever I'm cutting my weight because obviously you're not going to use all of that. Okay, double-sided sticky tape. All right, let's get started. Brand new tire. Put it on the balancer. Automatically, you see there's a really heavy side. Tire's rocking. Now, what I like to do is I like to take a string, wrap around it, and give it a nice pull. I would say that's out of balance. Most definitely. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your marker, going to draw you a line exactly 12 o'clock because your heavy side is always on the bottom. As long as you have a good balancer, a good balancer, you will always see that tire rocking. And it will rock with no binding, no hesitation until it just slowly rocks to a stop. Now, we're going to draw our line exactly 12 o'clock. Now, I've already cut my weight. I always start, start off with about 1.8 grams. one point eight I've always found found that to be a good starting point take your double-sided sticky tape stick it to your weight and stick your weight exactly 12 o'clock where we drew that line now obviously it could be too much weight or it could be not enough now if it's not enough your tire is going to stay with the 12 o'clock up on top or it might come down just a little bit if it's too heavy it's going to your weight is going to go all the way to the bottom and stay there now if it's too heavy you want to just go ahead and take it back off and cut a little piece off of it stick it back on now, as you can see, mine's not too heavy. I'm hoping it lands at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock. And there we have it at 9 o'clock. As long as that weight stops around 3 or 9, usually that's a good sign that you're going to be pretty close on being balanced. Now, let's go ahead and take our string, wrap our string back around it, give it a nice little jerk. And look at that, fellas. Smooth as butter. That's as simple as it is.
you always want to balance your tires. Always. You don't want to be out there trying to run 100 miles an hour with a tire doing this. Your car's not going to have traction. It's going to be overheating your motor, overheating your ES ESC, trying to push that tire with it hopping is just just it's just built that's just for a disaster <laughs> it uh it's just you shouldn't do it always balance your tires all right guys that's zaza rc y'all like subscribe and i'll see you later